All right, guys, we are back. Holy cow, what just happened? Who was shooting? Uh, what is Ron doing? Smells like home. What is this guy doing? Can I hit him? I guess I can't hit him. I don't understand what he's doing, though. Alright, you guys, I put a waypoint to the T on the map, which is for Trevor. Uh, hopefully this time around, when I'm recording this session, I'll get to play as Michael and Franklin too. But, we'll see. I'm gonna let you guys see when I get there, and like I said, sometimes my voice is weird. Because I just kind of woke up. Not even just, really. It's been like... 45 minutes. I usually try to wait a little bit, but sometimes it just takes a while to go away, so it is what it is. I will see you guys when we get there. Alright, you guys. We should be pretty close to wherever we're supposed to be going. Let's think we're going in there. I don't understand the uh, way that this works. Are we meeting that guy? Let's try to go in there. I don't really totally understand what's Call going on closer. here. I'm calling the cops. Why? Why are you calling the cops? <laughs> Maybe it's over here. Yeah, it is. Totally forgot about this place. I miss you already! What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin! You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, boy! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I mean, it would have been know better. Just the place. Ah. I was going to say it would have been better if I brought the car, but I had only brought the, uh, 
little dune buggy thing. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip! Exactly! Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got... you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy... Daisy Whoops. Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw them, they was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Huh. Nice rules, Trevor. Here we are. What do you think? So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy doesn't like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? <laughs> Here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. I hear you, my dude. I'm gonna get... Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin. All right. Okay, monkey business. Let's override it. Hank 10. So I think that every time that happens, it's just because, oh my god, I got gold. Sorry, I got, um, excited. But anyways, I think every time that happens, it's because I am done. Like, if you see that, it means it's, like, n me recording for, like, a new time. I got a better car? What happened? It's like I'm slowly getting money, I guess. I don't know why the wheels are like that. Never in my life would I do that. Let's answer. He's from, uh, Life Invader. Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. Not forgetting, bro. Uh, where am I going exactly? Alright, we're gonna go to the T on the map, which stands for Trevor, but I think it's just gonna have to do with Trevor. It's not obviously for Trevor. Because I don't think it would show up in their color if that were the case. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Do so you see? Most of the time, this is not my fault. Yeah, that's how I feel, bud. Why do I keep doing that, like, little hydraulic kick in? when I let off the, the brakes. Like, there it goes. Or the gas. When I let off the gas, it does that. It's a little bit annoying. 
All right, we should be here now. Uh, where exactly is this place? I'm so bad at figuring out where these things are. Where are we? This is really weird. Oh, we're at the strip club, aren't we? Let me drive around the front. Even though I think my car would be there. Let's go ahead and drive around the front. And let's go inside. We definitely hang it later. I feel you. Mr. DeSanto, good to see you. Good to see you too, I'm bud. Fucking pigs hang around my crib every day and shit. I don't even know what the fuck they looking for, but those Do any of you ladies like wearing clown face? Like no shit! City of Saints and struggle, lost scandals, saying and trouble. What the Hell hell's shit. bro? Hold on a second. Can you actually, like, do st stuff? Right this is so... I don't know, I feel weird nah, being in here. Let's get to Trevor. We don't know what he's doing. Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's alright. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. Uh, a long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But... It'll be my, uh... our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Oh no, that was Leon. Come in, you there? Alright, we're on a strict schedule. And there's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 1530. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we, uh, taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. Alright. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Alright, so I think it's giving me the option to switch to, to Trevor, but I'm not gonna do that if I'm having hey stuff man, that I'm supposed to do. It, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. 
Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Wait, where did I just go? Give me a second, you guys. I'm doing something really stupid, I guess. Alright, it's right here. <laughs> Look, dog, Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Alright, see, that's what I thought it would do. It would switch me to Trevor, and then I'll do what he needs me to do, so... I don't lose any of the story. Come on, Lester, talk to me, bud. Maybe you should scream? You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. How do you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. Great. And another flying freaking vehicle. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Aww. Don't do that, Trevor. We're an hour down, two to go. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. Quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24 7, waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Remind me of. Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Um, I'm not okay with that. It's a little ridiculous. But, uh, I don't understand why the clock is counting up. Like, I don't think I've been doing this for 15 minutes. To be totally honest. What do I do? What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> huh. So I'm just filming this right now. That's good. I don't like the, uh, flying bit. I'm glad I don't have to follow them. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges! It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover! It's too open! There's a number of get-outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars! With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's position. 
Where are they going? I don't see them though. Like. What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. My thing is, how did they not notice the helicopter above them, like, the entire time? Or do they just think it's, like, more security for them? That's a good I'm spot. Side of them. Think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in. It does make sense. I'm really nervous about this, I'll take by the way. The right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. All right. Not sure where to go now. now. If I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. Okay. Oh wait, I gotta freaking fly this too? A little longer. It feels like they've been digging this tunnel forever. Just a minute. What is he getting? Look steady enough on that bedrock. I think I've got everything I need to make some plans. Alright, so I'm not sure if I need to switch to Michael because he's not like... He's not like red or anything, so it's like I never know. But I guess I'm gonna switch to him. Uh, Alright, take Franklin to his house. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feel pretty good. We got Lester planning in it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? All right, holla at me. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. 
Okay. Surveying the score. I'm really nervous. Like, really nervous. Oh, <laughs>